I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in And the last out, see me coming Been popping, sports center from a little I was watching Spin a bag like I'm Rafa, call that top spin How could I not win? This is top 10 From the bottom, gotta sniff Welcome to Lexington, Kentucky Here in the Bluegrass State Where the hospitality flows freely Home of the Kentucky Wildcats And the Big Blue Nation Ready for this collision today Today, it's a top 25 matchup. Two teams off to good starts, hoping to build on that and test themselves against another ranked team. As we'll see the number 12 team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the 16th ranked team, the Kentucky Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. here on second down looking to make a big play downfield it's caught they will rule that a catch a huge game through the air what a, the ability to make plays downfield and have the speed to be able to play with the big boys in college football running with purpose and he's got it already past the first down marker And that punt carries into the end zone, so a touchback. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense gets their first crack now. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker. Manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Doesn't hold. First down, looking to throw the ball. Looking for the wide out. And it's intercepted. Look out, he's got some space. Inside the 10. And he's into the end zone. But hold on. There's a flag on the field. This might be coming back. So the offense will decline the penalty and just take the result of that play. To bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. Oh, it's a reverse. As the first down is still going. They tackle him at the 43, but that's enough for a first down. For offense coordinators, you see big runs like they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. Lasso. On first down, it's play action. He lets it go. Fired into a tight window and picked off. And that's a solid return after the interception. How about this, Chris? The safety reads the quarterback's eyes perfectly and saw the throw before it even happened. If you're the quarterback, that's why it's so important to look those safeties off so they can't break on your throws.
Keeping it on the ground here. Picks up the first, looking for more. Will make it into the end zone. A touchdown, Freddie Irish. He just breaks away and takes it to the house from distance. That's an elite running back type of play. Yo, when he got out into the open field, I didn't know if he had the speed to take that thing all the way to the house, but he does. That's next level speed. Suddenly, with the pick, let's see what they can do here. Has the first down still on the move? This guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody. They've got a defense, comes up with a sack. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field in that third down and long. Nowhere to go, gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. And now it's fourth down and long. Play action. He's looking to throw. They got him. Are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Here's the throw deep downfield. Catches. Four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. The pocket breaking down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. The attempt will be from 42 yards out. This try is no good. And that one's off target, and the game will remain tied. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. He'll hand it off. He's found some room with the 45. Nothing but green grass ahead. The 10. Touchdown, Iris. It was a foot race and he won. This all week I wonder if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned. Couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed and he's able to take it to the end zone. PAT puts him in front by seven. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, guys. One of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Lexington. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. Great job here by the offense. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And a big game. Now it's second down here. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. And the offense recovers the fumble. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And they heave it deep downfield. He pulls it in for a big game. No stopping and takes it all the way. Touchdown, no name. So the offense flexing and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if 
secure this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. Trying to get the ball to the perimeter on the jet sweep. Breaks loose at the 40. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. They can't slow him down. At the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. There was no stopping him. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. the handoff breaking free at the 35 oh and he's in the clear now it's a foot race at the 20 inside the 10 they're not gonna get him he's in touchdown fighting Irish. what a touchdown anytime you see a ball go for that many yards everything has to come together the offensive line did their job the running back's vision and instincts and speed and the play caller setting up the perfect personnel group formation and play call. It all came together and they get the big score. And then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time. Oh, the pass is picked off. Makes the defender miss. He'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Work this third down. Makes the handoff, looking to throw. The pass rush closing in. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. He cannot escape the defense with a sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Dropping back, it's Vandegrift. Let's it fly out of the wide out yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it so you got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield he's the one that has to absorb the contact and as a result he's unable to hold on to the football and this time it's by a couple of scores this offense doing everything they can to not just score points but do it in a hurry try to preserve the clock here they're tackled in bounds they don't pick up a first down good job with this defense to keep that clock moving Looking to throw yet again. Launching one to the end zone. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. You just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here the interception cost them. He's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Let's it go quickly. And that one's picked off. What a play. They get him down after a short return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 43. Well, that interception really about cost him the game here. And I understand. You got to do everything you can to get back in it, down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Fighting off the defender. Now it's another broken tackle. Breaks free down the left side. End zone ahead. 
Touchdown, Irish! What a show of strength and will. What a long run for a touchdown. Oh, this defense was caught sleeping or kicking the mud. I can't pick which one. Maybe it's both. Because the running back just went right by them so easily for the big gain and a big-time score. Back to throw. It's Vandegriff. Fires it to the what? And that's interception number five. When will this QB get the hook? Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Well, your best player has got to make big plays in these kind of moments, and that's what happened right here with this defensive back. The offense in a tie game in the red zone, looking at points, and instead, the defense with the interception in a tie game, their offense now has the ball. First down. And now it's victory formation. The quarterback will just kneel down. Well, it wasn't a flawless performance, Kirk, but they looked pretty good out there today and a very satisfying W. Well, I think this group has a chance to do some really special things this year. They clearly have talent to be able to work with. And I've been impressed with how this head coach managed the game and led his team to a victory. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.